Are we recording? Perfect. Um, I don't even know the date today. All right. We're in July. It's a holiday weekend. It's it is second. July 2nd. Um, and we are getting together tonight as a team to meet some people like you guys who are interested in learning more about the coaching opportunity and perhaps just learning a little bit about who are some of the coaches that make up our team. So we are kind of from all different teams in one little umbrella under the big umbrella of Team Beachbody. And the people who are on this call are gonna share with you a little bit about like a snippet of their story, uh, maybe a, mis um, a myth or a misconception they had about coaching before they started and kind of where they're at now. So um, thank you guys for getting on tonight. We love nothing more than sharing this opportunity with other people and we hope that you can see what lights us up about this and why tonight and that you can make a decision when you leave here feeling like, yeah, I'm ready. This is for me. I want to dig in. Let's do this. So my name is Annalisa Hurley. I am um, kind, I have a team, Team Aspire Nation, and it kind of created this ripple effect of the coaches you see here and the teams that they have built within this team. Um, I started about seven years ago now, and I have not one single regret about it. My business has definitely had its ebbs and flows and has fit my lifestyle through everything. I started before my wedding to lose weight. I used these programs for wedding prep, after wedding, um, during pregnancy, during postpartum, everything in between. And these products, which some of you may have already started using, are totally flexible and totally accommodating to every chapter of my life since I started, which has been great. Um, I, I say something different about this usually on each call and usually I talk about how easy it is to share um, because I believe so hard, wholeheartedly in these programs. Like I said, I've used them through every kind of chapter over the last eight years. So it's easy for me to talk about that. I don't feel like I'm selling. And that's usually the road I go. But tonight I kind of want to talk about where I'm at now. And coaching for me has generated uh, I want to say secondary, but again, I kind of, let me back up a little bit. I started coaching when I was working full time. I took time off to be with my son for the first two years. Being a stay at home mom is not for me. I went back to work and I work now in the school system. However, the way I started the school system, I was not able to get that stretch pay over the summer. So hello. Thank you coaching for being a source of income, source of full-time income for me when things don't go so great, when my income gets taken away. And I know a lot of people can relate to that, especially now because of this crazy pandemic. So coaching has been steady. People always need health and fitness. If I'm showing up in my business, I'm getting paid. And if I'm pouring into my customers, they continue to show up in their journey and buy products and commit to programs and do it with me. And my business continues to grow and my team continues to grow and we just keep that energy flowing. So for me, the highlight right now of coaching is that it is my lifeline during this summer break where I am not getting paid from the schools, but I still have a full-time income that is allowing us to completely like prepare to renovate and move into our dream home and just enjoy the things that we want to enjoy without stressing. So whether it's a secondary income or a primary income, it is so worth it. It's worth the energy and the effort you put in to develop that income stream. And you will probably be surprised to learn about how much you can actually earn with this business should you pursue it as a business. So that's what I'll share tonight. And I'll pass it over to whoever wants to. I was going to say Dana, but I didn't know if you wanted okay. to go next. So Annalise is actually my coach. Um, I have been a coach for about six and a half years now, which blows my mind. Um, I can't imagine what life would be without coaching. So a little bit about me, um, my backstory. Um, I had a really challenging kind of life up until uh, I found Beachbody. So I lost my dad really young to heart disease. I struggled with disordered eating all through my teen years. 
Um, when I was in my teens, I was in a near-death boating accident. Um, and for the next 10 years of my life, it was basically back-to-back -back surgeries, learning how to walk again. I had been an avid athlete, and so that was kind of my outlet. And that was kind of taken away from me. That was actually how I knew Annalisa in high school. We were field hockey teammates. Um, <clears throat> and fast forward to my early 20s, because I was really lost and I had kind of lost my ability to dream. I was doing what I was supposed to do. I was going through college, doing what my family had suggested I do to be successful. Um, and I was really lost by my early 20s. I started partying a lot, hanging out with the wrong people. Um, I ended up getting pregnant and moving across country to try and make the relationship work only to figure out that I was in a very abusive relationship. Um, I decided to leave to raise my son alone when he was five months old and move back to Florida to be with my family. Um, and at the time that Annalisa started writing me, <laughs> she, you know, kind of shared with me about Shakeology and she had shared about, you know, fitness programs. And it wasn't that I wasn't interested. It was that I was a, a little bit skeptical because nothing had worked for me because of all the injuries I had. I would always like push really hard and then get injured and stop. And it was kind of this on and off cycle with my fitness. Um, but I also was not really in the headspace to say yes yet. Um, and I think that's really important is like, you actually have to be ready to change when you, when you join this um, to be successful with your fitness and nutrition. And so a couple months later, after, you know, ghosting her forever, um, she invited me to a group where it was a, it was a fitness program that was 25 minutes. And I was like, you know what, I can do this. And I kind of had that aha moment. I don't know if anybody can relate to this, but like I was at the epitome of rock bottom. I was 27, a newly single mom. The income that I was making was not going to sustain our life. I was at a crossroads of should I go back to school and you know, work restaurant industry jobs because that was all I had ever done. Um, <clears throat> and I needed to work on myself. Like I needed something that was going to help me physically, mentally, and emotionally. And I knew because I had a past history of loving fitness that this might be the thing for me. And within that first like week or two of doing the fitness program, I started to feel more empowered and more energetic and more confident just because I had made the decision to change instead of just staying stuck where I was, because it's one of the most awful feelings, if you guys can relate, like when you're stuck and you haven't yet made the choice to change, it feels way harder, right? And once, even if you haven't accomplished anything yet, just because you were like, I'm no longer staying stuck in this place, your energy starts to shift, right? Um, and I, I fell in love with everything very quickly, but Annalisa invited me to hop on a call that was very much like what you're hearing tonight, um, about the coaching opportunity. I knew nothing about network marketing. I was one of those people who scrolled silently stalking people's Facebooks, comparing my life to theirs, but never actually posted anything. Um, I had no business experience. I was not a consistent person, but something that was said on that call that, that day, I have no idea what it was. It sparked this something deep inside me that said, this could be it for my life. Like this could be the thing that I'm looking for that can change everything for us. And I went all in from day one. Um, I have been a full-time coach for over six years. This business allowed me to be home and present with my son as a single parent. Um, it allowed me to have, you know, the, the confidence and the financial means to win full custody of my son. Um, and in the last two years of my life, going through a lot of health struggles, it has financially supported us when I had to kind of scale back how hard I was working. And that was one of the biggest unexpected blessings that I could have ever asked for is, is the income that you build with this business that is residual. Um, and I just want to say like this business is what you make it. It can be something that you use as accountability to stay on track with your own wellness and your own journey. It can be something that pays for your own products, or it can be something like it was for me where it is completely transformative of just who you are and how you live your life and every single aspect of it. Um, it's given me the best friends I could ever ask for. Um, I have developed skills that I never thought I would have. Um, it has, you know, helped my confidence get to a place that I never thought it would be my entire life. Um, I've been able to travel 
all over to a million different places that I never would have gone otherwise as a single parent. Um, and I think a lot of it really comes down to like our ability to grow and kind of live outside the box that we have put ourselves in, or at least that's what it was for me. It was a totally different um, life course that I had never considered until it kind of opened my eyes to the fact that there was something else out there for me. And I truly feel like I was made for this. And so perhaps you're here hearing this tonight because this is made for you too. And I hope that's the case for some of you. That's a little bit about me. I can go. And I also have my girl Riss on my phone. She's having the technical issues. So I'm gonna swap her around so she can see me and I can talk to you. <laughs> Um, hi everybody, I'm Ashley. Um, I have been a coach for two years. Uh, I just had my coaching anniversary last month. Um, it did not start out with me actually coaching. Um, I did start as a discount hobby coach just to get the discount on everything. Um, but my story is kind of really dark <laughs> in the beginning. Um, just like Dana, I was in probably the darkest place of my life. Um, when I first started my journey and Dana is my coach and we met in a mom group on Facebook and, uh, found out we were actually from the same hometown and, uh, we were just kind of connected like friend wise. Um, and I got pregnant with my firstborn son, Oliver. And during that pregnancy, it was fine. It was totally fine. And I told Dana, like, yes, I'm totally gonna like go all in with you when I'm when I'm having this baby. When this baby's out, like I'm all yours. Let's go. Um, but that wasn't in the cards for me because he was actually diagnosed um, after he was born with a rare congenital heart defect. So we spent um, the entire six months of his life up until the day he passed away at Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh. Um, and in those six months, uh, I saw many things that no one should ever have to see. Um, I witnessed things that no one should ever have to see, um, which then also led me to having PTSD. I had postpartum anxiety, postpartum depression. Um, and I also had PTSD from years back before I got married from a pressure cooker accident where a pressure cooker exploded and burned me um, with second and little 30, third degree burns on 30% of my body. So after I, after my son passed away, um, I'd say probably about like two months after I kind of looked in the mirror and I didn't recognize the person staring back at me. I was a shell of myself. I was over 300 pounds. I was at the darkest, darkest point of my life and I couldn't see a way out. Um, and then I got a message from Dana, just checking in on me like she did all the time anyway. And I just told her, I said, I don't want to feel like this anymore. Like, let, let's, let's try it, <laughs> you know? And uh, I'm like, you know, it, it can't hurt. So I guess I'll try. Um, so I started crushing it with 21 Day Fix and then found out I was pregnant. <laughs> Because I swear that always happens. You lose weight and then you get pregnant. It's just what happens. And um, so then I was like, well, girl, I'm going to have to put this on pause. I'm going to really try and enjoy this pregnancy because, again, I was getting better, but I was still really, really, really in a dark place. So I was like, let me just focus on this pregnancy. That's a lot to take right now. It had only been like three months since my son had passed away. Um, and now I have my beautiful rainbow baby Violet, who's five. And here I am now, <laughs> fast forward, I am now down oh, 100 and as of today, 12 pounds. <laughs> and I have gained these friendships with these women from all over the country, all over the world, really. I've also gained the confidence in myself back. Um, and also, when I first started actually coaching, it was right after I had finished a program, which may be like some of you guys, um, where I finished, I told her, I said, I'm not going to actually coach coach until I prove to myself because I was a, you know, serial yo-yo dieter. I have binge eating and emotional eating disorder. Um, and I was like, let me complete 
one program. And of course I chose one of the hardest 80 day programs. <laughs> and I was like, let me finish this to prove it to myself and then I'll do it. So I crushed it. I felt better than I had had in my entire life. And here I am talking to you guys now, just earned my first trip with Beachbody, um, going to Riviera Maya in April <laughs> um, with me and my husband who we never got a honeymoon. And this is our honeymoon and it's being completely paid for by Beachbody. So this is a blessing. This can literally save you from the darkest points of your life and transform you into the person you were meant to be, the person who you can be and live for the loved ones who aren't here that's it <laughs> I'll go next if that's all right um so hey everybody my name is Maggie um, my coach Kelly is not on here tonight but um Kelly and I started this group called the type 1 dream team and um all of us in this group in particular have type 1 diabetes we also help run, well, I help run, Kelly started another group called It's Time to Rise Up for all the people without diabetes. So all you lucky people um, in that other group. <laughs> but um, so a little bit about me and my background. I um, have had type one diabetes for 29 years and for 25 of those 29 years, they were horrendous diabetes control, did not take care of myself. Um, long story short, I ended up with some diabetes complications and, um, fortunately I was able to have a, a very healthy daughter. Um, I, she's almost five, she'll be five in October, but, um, my pregnancy was a really dark time for me and I had gained a lot of weight and I was just really depressed and hormonal. And after my pregnancy, I knew that I had to make some changes, um, one of my issues was prior to having all my diabetes complications, I was always into working out and I loved fitness, but I would get my blood sugar super high before going to work out at the gym. Because if you're a type one diabetic, you know the anxiety about going low in public and at a gym, that fear is real. Um, so I knew I had to change something with that. So I started to look for at home fitness opportunities. Um, and then that's kind of how I met Kelly. Kelly invited me to her group and literally less than 24 hours later, I was like, I want to be a coach, like sign me up. This is what I want to do. This is what I've been looking for. Um, cause I am a stay at home mom, which I love but there is only so much cooking and cleaning and but wiping that you can do before you start to really you know think there's got to be more for for me you know and um i do have a dietetics degree i have um i've always loved health and fitness and so this was just a, it just was the the missing piece of the puzzle in my life i guess um, so I've been a coach now for a little over two years, and um, what I really wanted to talk about is just this incredible time of opportunity for people who are thinking about becoming a coach. Um, obviously, with everything going on with Corona right now, um, I don't, like I know Dana, like in Florida, it's like supposed to be really bad. In Ohio, I, I live in Northern Kentucky, but in Ohio, they just announced that like mask wearing is mandatory and i just cannot foresee how that is going to work at gyms i just can't and i know you know just from the past couple of months how busy beachbody has been their our business has just like gone up exponentially and of course you can understand why and when you think about the opportunity that is in front of you now to not only help yourself um, because when I became a coach and I made that public, um, and I started the type one dream team and I started telling other people, Hey, that was my Dexcom going off. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Hey, watch me. Um, I am going to do these incredible fitness programs. I'm going to do this nutrition. I'm getting results. That became a huge accountability factor for me that I had not had ever anywhere else. I mean, especially not in a job. What job is going to pay you to be your best, healthiest self, right? So that first and foremost is number one, the accountability. And then just the opportunity to help other people. 
obviously I have a soft spot in my heart for type one diabetics. Um, we have 145 members in our group and we've been around for less than two years and I'm really, really proud of that. And um, you know, even if you're not a type one diabetic, which most people aren't, let's face it. Um, everybody needs this. Everybody needs this. So this is just the perfect opportune time to take care of yourself, to join an incredible team. Um, you don't have to know anything about what we do. We can provide the training. All you have to have is, you know, the motivation and um, just that desire to learn and to want to help yourself and help others. Um, so that's a little bit about me. And I just think this is such an incredible opportunity. I, I can't wait to take my husband and my daughter on that same trip Ashley was talking about. Um, and just our team is just so awesome. And thank you guys for letting me be a part of it. Um, Allie or Amanda, were you guys wanting to share? I can't tell if Allie's there or not. <laughs> there she is. No hey, pressure, there. no pressure. Maybe a little bit. Spotlight <laughs> on you, sister. <laughs> y'all, I have the worst. I like the worst with Zoom. Can y'all see me? Can y'all hear me? <laughs> okay. Um, I like your accent. <laughs> I, I, this is my biggest insecurity. I'm like, I'm like a country bumpkin, like a hillbilly. I, like, I've even yeah. talked about about it like I don't even want to go live like because I feel like my accent is just it's horrible oh um, my god it's not horrible at all I'm like I love you <laughs> thank you um so I know that <laughs> Kelly's Kelly is also my coach um me and Maggie are on the same team oh no my, my phone's died no okay uh, me and Maggie are on the same team I'm also diabetic I've had diabetes for um 13 years and I have two toddlers. Um, so I, my journey didn't start out with Beachbody. I actually kind of started on my own. After my second child, I'm kind of like Maggie. I had, well, both of my babies are healthy now, but both of, both of my pregnancies were awful. I'm like her. I didn't control my diabetes. I just constantly stayed high. I had, you know, gym fear of dropping out low. Um, my A1Cs were absolutely through the roof, and I got pregnant. And I was just like, eh. Then I had another one back to back. So my daughters are 16 months apart. Um, and so after my second one, I kind of, I dealt with like postpartum depression. And I also had binge eating disorder, like Ashley talked about. Um, so that was, that, those were like really, so I had um, my youngest, Della, in November. And then um, my sister got pregnant and she had her baby in April. And I can literally think of the day I was like, I have a problem. Like I was telling my mom, I said, I have a problem. Like something is wrong with me. I have a problem. I have to do something about it. So I was a stay at home mom at the time. I actually stayed at home with my girls for two years. Um, and I'm back in work now. I have two jobs and a third job now to count Beachbody coach, but I'm thinking about quitting my second job because of Beachbody because I'm making more money than what I make at my second job. So it's sorry. I'm a rambler too. Okay. We'll, we'll talk about it. <laughs> um, so after, so like, pinpoint to the day I told my mom like I have a problem we went out to eat three times in a row and I like ate oh, it was crazy so I told my mom I was like I have a problem so I talked to my husband I said I need a gym membership he was like Allie I want to get you a gym membership but like I don't know if you're going to use it like what do you you gotta you gotta prove to you gotta prove yourself something I was like, okay so I lost my first 10 pounds at home in about a month and after I like I hit that 10 pound mark like the morning I woke up I said I need a gym membership so he got me into the gym, you know, I got a gym membership and I had one that had a, a daycare and that's actually my second job now. Um, I started that gym membership and in two years, it's taken me, it's taken me two years to lose 40 pounds. Um, I lost 40 pounds since starting out. Um, and my diabetes is like totally controlled, which I mean, I'm still choking now, but like I have more, I, ha I have more of a journey, you know, this is why I started the beach party because I, like I was telling Kelly when she first reached out, um, I said, it, it would be great to have something to fall back on because I have people message me constantly every single day. Allie, what have you done to lose weight? What are you doing? And I said, this is perfect because this is something I can say I've done and I actually have an actual thing to fall back on. I've never had that. I just said, oh, I'm kind of like, why don't I eat and work out? Just kind of 
happen. Um, so that opportunity has been wonderful. Now, my thing is like, I'm like Maggie, I have loved being able to help people. So I just started, um, I think my, I signed up on the 16th and then I told Kelly, I wanted to become like an active coach on the 24th of April. Um, and I was like, when I told her I wanted to dive in, like I was like ready to dive in. So I signed my husband up first, obviously, cause I've watched the videos in the units. Like that's what you need to do first. Um, and so I signed my husband up first. Well, then my sister-in-law, I was kind of posting about Shakeology a little bit cause I hadn't received it yet. Cause it was in the middle of the pandemic and everything was taking forever to come in. So I was like kind of posting the workouts, but not too full flake. But the first day I got my Shakeology, I was like, boom, like posting it. Let's talk about it. So I had a few people message me and my sister-in-law was actually one of them. And she called me, she said, Hallie, you're doing beach body. Like I signed up for 21 day fit or the not 21 day fix. What is it? The pyro pyo. I don't know how to say it. Um, and so she had already signed up for that. And I was like, Oh my God, like, please help me out. You know, help me start my business too. Let me sign you up for the whole challenge pack. Let me get you on Shakeology. Like, my brother's also type 2 diabetic, but he's 27, and he just found out. I think he's type 1.5. There's a little bit of, like, research behind that. I think he was misdiagnosed, but that's a whole other story. So I was like, I've got to get y'all on Shaco. Like, I love it. It's helped my blood sugar levels. Like, we're going to get y'all on. So she's like, okay, sign me up. So I signed my sister-in-law up. And after that, like, it's kind of, like, it's all people that I know. I actually just signed up my first person, which – Shay, who was on tonight, she actually knows this girl, but they never contacted each other before, like, they never contacted each other before me and me and Mackenzie had talked, so I signed Mackenzie up, y'all making me blush, I'm trying to read, <laughs> but, um, so Shay and Mackenzie ended up knowing each other, I never knew Mackenzie, I don't know this girl, I have, I like, I didn't know her from Eve, but I signed her up, and I put her in our group, and I was like, Y'all, me, Mackenzie, and two of the people in my group already knew her, and I didn't even know her. I was like, this is awesome. Like, so my my biggest thing that I've gotten from this is not only the money is great because, like, weekly paychecks, I get paid every two weeks from both of my jobs, so I'm like, <laughs> by that second last day of that second week, I'm like, oh, God, help. Like, but this every, every week paycheck, y'all, from the beginning, like, I know we spit out numbers sometimes, but, like, so from the beginning, I have made – 50 plus dollars a week. So that adds up, especially like it, like I said, I make more than my YMCA job. And it's, I'm like, I don't have to, I'm not, like I'm working, but I'm not working. I'm not physically working other than working on myself, my health. Um, and so it's been, I love being able to like, like send my messages in the morning, like, Hey, what's up group? Like what y'all doing? Hope y'all have a good day, you know, just stuff like that. Like, I, I love to connect with people like that anyways. And so, like I said, having something to fall back on is something that we can all connect to because my thing that I tell the group a lot, like, we all are on the same journey. We have different stories. We have different things. but We all have similar goals. And it's, it's good to be with like-minded people, which is why I love being with Kelly because, you know, she has diabetes and Maddie has diabetes and we – you know, and then in the coaches' calls, like, we all have like-minded goals. And I jumped on that call with Liz, I think that was her name, and she talked about how um, it was, like, dream big. Like, don't just stop. Like, just dream big. And so <laughs> I'm, like, after I got off that call, I was, like, I'm about to be diamond in, like, three months. <laughs> like, don't play for me. Like, I'm about to be diamond. <laughs> so I have my husband. I have one person sign under my husband as a discount coach. And I'm hoping Shay is going to be my other Emerald coach. I think she's going to be awesome, too, because me and her have, I feel like we have very similar personalities. Um, and she's going to crush it. Like, I know it. Like, if she starts coaching actively, like, she's going she gonna to be on it. She's already asked me questions about it. So, I have, I, I'm, I'm getting my, my team up. And um, my goal, and I was just telling Maggie and Kelly the other day, too, like, my goal is to be, like, Kelly and Dana. Like, y'all are, like, Dana, you <laughs> – I told you, I was like, she's a little bit intimidating, but also she's goals. <laughs> like I, I need to be like, like I want to be like her. I want my team to be like her. I need her energy. So, um, well, that's a little bit about my story. Like I said, I haven't been coaching long. Like I think July the 24th will be three months for me. And if I hit success club, that'll be my third success club. And I hit success club 10 both months, my first two months. So like I said, I'm trying to dream big. <laughs> And hopefully, Girl, you know, you like, have got uh, this. You have please. got this. Your energy is contagious. I'm like soaking it up because 
being a coach for seven years or whatever, like we need, we love that. Come in, set big goals, dream big. There's nothing holding you back. There's no baloney about like, I just started, like I can't succeed because I just start like, no, you are proof. You get going, you talk with your yeah. people, you connect with your family. You just tell your sister-in-law like, this is what I'm doing. Let's do it together. And yes, that's how you grow a business. So you got this. Thank you for sharing your you have new to mention coach. That hitting success club, your third month, you earn a free ticket to coach summit, which coach summit is like the most life-changing event you could ever get to. It was, I went, I earned success starters. I went to my first summit. I, it was the first time I had ever left my son. He was 15 months old. I was nursing. My boobs were engorged the whole time. It was awful. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I remember those bathroom trips. <laughs> just, it was um, obviously when I looked like I had boobs, which I don't. Uh, <laughs> but that event like made everything so real for me because it's like, it's different when you're behind a computer screen and you're connecting with people and you're making friends and you're posting in your communities and that's all incredible. But when you get to Coach Summit in real life and there's 25,000 plus coaches that are fired up, they're excited, they're passionate, they're pumped, you're working out live with hundreds of people in front of super trainers and there's, you know, guest speakers that are like, we had Rachel Hollis last year, we've seen Gary V. like if you don't know any of those names, whatever, but they're huge people in the personal development world. Um, we get training from top coaches and you leave that event having hugged all of these people in real life that are just like your internet people. And it's, it's something where you realize you're a part of something so much bigger than yourself. And this is not just selling Shakeology, and getting people to do fitness programs. It is literally the success stories you hear like bring you to sobbing tears because they're all like our story. Like every single person has a story, has been impacted by this journey, has had a transformation, whether it's mental, physical, emotional, financial, all of the above. And you realize like you are truly a part of what's helping people change, change their lives. And that's so powerful. Um, and I wanted on the topic of income to just quickly explain a little bit about that with you guys in case you are curious. Um, I think it's great that we had Allie as a new coach just really kind of share what's possible as a new coach because sometimes I feel like it's hard to relate th to those of us that are dinosaurs and we've been around <laughs> for a long time. Um, but as a coach, you earn 25% commission of anything that you help people with. That's the main source of your income as a brand new coach. Um, as you start to grow and you start to have more customers and you have coaches join your team, we make what is residual income, um, which eventually if you go on to be full-time is the majority of your income. So this is income that you make without having to actually do work of bringing in new people. Um, that is not to say that that is easy and this is an overnight get rich quick scheme because it is not that at all. It is hard. It does take consistency. It does take hard work. And to get to that place where you're making a significant income, it takes time and it takes hard work and it takes caring about helping other people. Um, we also have ranks and bonuses. So at certain ranks in the company, you get, you open the door to be able to earn quarterly bonuses and also Beachbody rewards us with what we call a matching bonus. So Essentially, this is my favorite part of it because you cannot be successful unless you help other people be successful, right? Whether that is with their health and their fitness or that is within the business, the more that you pour into truly caring about people, mentoring people, helping people, encouraging people, essentially being a glorified cheerleader and like pumped about helping people achieve everything that they want to achieve the more successful you become. So if you're somebody that has a big heart like we do, but you also have the work ethic and drive to match it, um, you can absolutely be successful. And I think it's very important to, to mention that it is important to know why you want to um, run with a business like this. Like we all love helping people. We all want to be on our journeys, but we all individually have our own um, goals for our lives or for our families or things we're doing. So just to kind of rattle off a few things, like we have coaches on our team that use this to supplement income alongside full-time jobs to pay for daycare. We have coaches that are using it to pay off debt. We have coaches, you know, that are building swimming pools in their houses or saving for vacations. For me, um, as a single parent, it's 
it's blessed our lives in ways that I never could have imagined, right? So this is this is what you make it. It can be whatever you decide it to be. You can work as little or as much as possible. Um, I've always kind of adapted the fastest fun mindset. This business is fun when you're like Allie and you dig in and you just go for it and it's exciting and things are happening. And um, in a way, it kind of helps you see that there's more to you and that you're capable of than you perhaps had ever seen before until you came into something like this and you had the ability to dream big um, because I a lot of us were not dreamers before we came into this business. You know, like you kind of think this is what my life is. I'm going to be a stay at home mom, or I'm going to get this job and I go to work and I do this. And this is kind of your routine. And this opportunity kind of comes in and says like, what is your ideal? Like what's your ideal health and your ideal fitness and your ideal mindset and you know, your ideal friendships and your ideal life. And this can be the vehicle to help you create those things while also making a huge impact. So, um, and the last thing I want to mention, and yeah, Annalisa, if you want to chime in, um, we have a brand new program that is launching next week called Muscle Burns Fat. Um, it is two three-week programs comprised, like one is the first three weeks, and then the next one, it's kind of a combination of cardio and weightlifting, super fun. If you are not signed up yet and you want to do the sample of that workout, you can try it out. But why I mention this is because launches are an incredible time to come in on this business because it is a lot of hype. It's a lot of excitement. Everybody wants to be part of new programs. We run team-wide launch groups with that alone is like something to join for because team launch groups are so fun. We all as a big team and all of the people that decide to join us for it do one big massive group. So we're all doing the exact same program at the exact same time showing up together, posting for accountability, sharing results. We all finish at the same time. We get crazy results. We feel awesome. Um, everybody that we're helping has a great experience. And it's just a super exciting time um, to be a coach when we have launches. So if you've been like in a quarantine rut or, you know, you're maybe you've been doing something on your own, but it's not working for you. Um, MBF might be an, a great opportunity for you to dive in with us and have that, that huge layer of accountability, but team support and camaraderie and excitement and fun of something new to really just get kick-ass results for the next six weeks. Um, and also as a new coach to be able to share those results because you're going to get results within a three week period and you're going to be able to share that publicly. And I just want to add, since we didn't actually cover this yet, is that you do not need to be in perfect shape to be a coach. It does not matter if you're at your goal weight. It doesn't matter if you don't have abs. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you have any experience in fitness or nutrition because the programs and the nutrition plans are laid out for you. What coaching is truly all about is committing to working on yourself. It is committing to work on your fitness. It is committing to work on your nutrition. It is committing to work on your mindset because Lord knows our mindsets control everything in our lives, right? Um, it's committing to work on being a better version yourself and sharing that process. It's about being real. It's about being relatable. People don't relate to perfect. It is not real, especially when we're in quarantine. Um, but sharing the ups and downs of your journey and being human and the results you're getting because that helps other people see that it is possible for them to. It helps people connect to you. Um, and so for multiple reasons, this is a great time to, to jump in on a launch when you're going to get results, you're going to have that support. You're going to have something to show that you're making progress right now, which everybody needs. Like I personally was not sure at the beginning of Corona what was going to happen. Um, but we've seen that right now, everybody needs community. Everybody needs fitness. Everybody needs to work on their mental health. Everybody needs, you know, to eat healthier because hello, quarantine snacks and bottles of wine to deal with the said stress of kids home and all that crazy stuff, right? <laughs> um, but like, this is the solution that the majority of people are out there looking for right now. And how cool is it that you could be the person to be out there showing up, showing them what's possible and be the person that they come to for help. So that is all I have to say. <laughs> yep. Beach body's not going anywhere. We adjust when everything's come our way. We adjust. They've proven that with their new launches and they filmed the entire thing via zoom. Like they know how to handle 
changes. They shifted from DVDs to streaming on demand. Like Beachbody continues to evolve with whatever's going on and whatever the need is. And people will all, always need health and fitness. So we're in it to stay here and we're not going anywhere. And I hope to see you guys join us and just take hold like new coach Allie down here. Like that is how you start a business. So anyone have any questions about anything? I was going to ask, do we have questions? Chris, we're looking at you girl because everybody else dipped out. Oh, they all left. <laughs> you're the, you're it, Chris. This was all for you. <laughs> No pressure. <laughs> you type it if you're too shy to ask. <laughs> and I think Ashley has someone on the phone, right? Don't you have? Okay, someone's on there. <laughs> oh, you're muted, I think. Muted. Here, hold on. I can unmute you if you can't figure it out. It's on the Zoom thing. Not, I think, I don't know if that works. Oh, now it says you have to ask to unmute. Oh. Oh, she just muted again. Okay, Wait, you're back. Okay. You're back. <laughs> I was just excited. I'm like taking in all this positive energy. I'm like, oh, this sounds amazing. Like, I don't know, a lot of changes this year. <laughs> Getting married, finding out my mom has mental illness after a lot of, I mean, I, I see how it happened. But it's like, I told her about this and I was like, mom, be excited because we're going to get you out of that really crappy stuff you're in. Oh, and it's like, awesome. both of my grand, it's like her parents died of complications with diabetes. I am the only type one diabetic that's alive in my family now. And my mom is like constantly freaking out. And I'm like, this is going to be that thing I used to get her to stop worrying and I'll get her to get active and maybe we'll get more people because we go to a church that's full of like lively people and we do a lot in our community. And I'm like, Ooh, this might be the way to get more people involved. You know, I mean, even if we can't be together physically, doesn't mean we can't do it online. I was like, hey, this could be a thing. And I worked in customer service and I love helping people. And I'm like, oh, this is great. I was like, this sounds like so much fun. It is it's fun. like making a difference. I think that's what it's really all about. So Caress actually, um, she was going to sign up for a challenge pack tomorrow. And I messaged her, messaged her tonight. And, and she, we were just talking and she sent me her phone number and I said, well, I'm actually going to be on a call tonight, but I can call you afterwards. And then we just kept talking and I was like, why don't you hop on the call? <laughs> so here we are. And I'm so glad you did. Um, once we get you started and everything, you'll, we'll definitely add you to the non-type one group as well so that, you know, you can help everybody. And oh, we man, I have so much fun helping people. It's like Yay, the greatest I'm, thing ever. I'm I used excited. to work in a factory. So I went from factory work to customer service. And I'm like, I could never work with machines. Even if the money was like double what I was getting. It's like, it was so empty. And I'm like, nope, I love people too much. This is great. Well, and the beauty is with everything going on, even before COVID, yeah. you could do this job from the comfort of your own home. So the more the merrier. I'm so excited for you. And I'm glad you joined our call tonight. Yay. Yes. I, I have nothing better to do. Too. I think the, <laughs> like, the thing we didn't talk at all about was like the personal growth aspect of that. And I feel like we all have hardships in our lives with our families and just, you know, things that are kind of out of our control that are very emotionally taxing. And um, personal development has been one of the most unexpected blessings. Cause I was like, you know, so like Annalise was like, you need to read a personal development book. And I was like, I don't need that. I don't need a book like that. And I read the first couple books and I was like, Oh my God, it changes how you think and how you react and how you show up and you know, your relationships. And, um, I feel like too, just you working on yourself is going to inspire all the people around you, including your family. And that might be one of the biggest like gifts like that you don't expect because you go into it just thinking you're going to change you know really for you and then that has a ripple effect on all the people around you so it sounds like it'll be huge for you i just love that you're already dreaming big like if i start here how can i help my mom how can we yeah. like make things better so okay. very cool well, happy you got on. Yes. Nice to meet you, Caress. I look forward to seeing you in our team page. And on the team for having me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies. We'll see you next week. Thanks oh, wait. Boomeranging. Oh, boomerang.
Oh, that would have been, oh, of course. You're all up in my stories already. (laughs) Thanks, boo. I'm probably sitting here like. Eating asparagus. (laughs) Or eating asparagus or drinking my jug of water that kept blending into the background of my digital background. So just like blob. All right, ladies. Boomerang? I know. I was like, who's boomerang? No, oh, I thought you said you already did, so I totally wasn't going to do it. Oh. We got to do it now. Hold on. I got it now. <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Hold on. <laughs> so many buttons. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Got it. <laughs> it <was so. laughs> All right. Good night, a ladies. couple of... <laughs> Just kidding. Just one. That'll do Just it. Just look, look for my story later, ladies, because this, this is great. This is so great. <laughs> I'm just full of energy now, but good, good night, all. Good, good night, night guys.